Hello, my name is John Sveck. Welcome to this All 24 video. Uh, today, Coach Waterman and I are joined by a special guest, Coach J.F. Jonka. He is the uh, head coach of the Champlain Cougars. Thanks for being with us, Coach. Hey, my pleasure. Awesome. So, Coach is going to take us through uh, some offensive concepts. I'll just give you the floor here, Coach. Awesome. So, uh, let's talk about arc and bluff. Uh, too simple uh, concept, but it can uh, bring a lot to uh, your running offense. So, I just want to start by talking a bit about my, my coaching staff, uh, Shane McDonald, our OC, Coach Albert, Coach Mike, and Coach Jeff, uh, a lot of experience working with me. So those are a guy working with our offense, uh, and they're all teachers. Huh? So we say coaching is teaching, so those guys are all teachers. So I'm pretty blessed to having those guys my, on my staff. Uh, the art concept for us was more a, kind of a change of pace. Uh, we run that play five times last year. Uh, and like five, uh, we averaged five yards an attempt, and we ran the bluff concept uh, 25 times in 2019 for a good average of 5.92 uh, yards an attempt and only three uh, TFL, all right? So uh, kind of a ch change of pace for us. It was mainly used uh, to complement our uh, inside zone play, and uh, we also ran it a little bit with our dual concept, which is our, our gap scheme, all right? So um, our fullback or age back alignment there at uh, play, uh, when we ran uh, those play was mainly from a, a Robert Lou alignment. All right, so uh, so we want our fullback to be a yard behind the tackle. We want his inside foot to be behind the tackle's outside foot. The reason why we want him that close is when we when we run zone away, and uh, anytime we have, we have combos between uh, the, the tackle and the, and the fullback, we we figured out that. That was the, uh, the best alignment to, to give us uh, those, uh, those type of plays, all right? Arc, so what we mean by arc, the arc concept, so we want the, uh, the, our age back, all right, to release outside the emo and attack the first, second level defender. So basically, uh, in early, all right, it's, it's mainly the side linebacker that adjusts to the, the age back. So we want him to, to go and attack the outside shoulder of the, uh, of the, the sound linebacker over it, all right? The, if we run it with uh, an inside zone concept, the quarterback is still reading uh, the defensive end, all right? So if, I will show you this little animation here. So H back will go on, on the sound backer. Quarterback still reads the DN just like uh, any zone read, all right? And if the quarterback keeps, all right, if the read tells him to get to keeps, then we've got someone to, to block on the perimeter on the sound linebacker. So we, we teach our sound back, uh, we teach our H back to aim for the outside shoulder of the sound backer. So if, if we can reach him, we reach him. And if it's not possible to reach him, we're just gonna push him towards the, the, the sideline and the, the, the quarterback will, will cut in some of them. How we practice arc, all right, arc's pretty simple. Uh, I like to stand behind, I coach the, the, the fullback, the H back at Champlain, so during uh, during the week, uh, every teach, every ND session, we practice those uh, those particular blocks that we do uh, game day, right? So uh, practicing art, I like to stand behind, right, to see the, the angle that our H backs are taking when they release. So they don't, we want to avoid the DN, right? And we aim for the outside shoulder of the, the, the sandbacker, the linebacker, okay? It's controlled tempo, we use shield, all right? We, drew, we start a drill on cadence, we give a cadence have the, the, the drill hands on the whistle, and then we rotate throughout our, our, with our, our age backs. It's pretty straightforward. Do you, uh, what happens when you get a wide end on the arc, uh, arc play and the backers inside? Do you, is there any adjustments? All right, so we're gonna teach the, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna teach the, uh, the, the age back, all right, just to, to go straight at that sound backer and still read the, the, the emo. If we have a jet backer, so if the, if the, we have a DN inside of the uh, the age back and the sound backer comes in jet, all right, we 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 ran it two ways. There there's some <laughs> there's some times where we said, okay, let's 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 uh, let's avoid the arc and let's just uh, add our age back to the DN and we're gonna re still read the uh, the, the sound backer, all right. But sometimes it was kind of tough for the age guy, the age back to to reach that DN. Uh, so depending on the caliber or the age back. That's how we did it. And if, uh, if it was easier, sometimes we did the opposite where we told our age back versus the jet backer, try to reach the, the sound backer. Uh, basically the sound will see you releasing. So most likely he's gonna, he's gonna go with you 
or I mean, you won't want you won't, you won't want to get a reach, and we're still gonna read that DM. Um, so yeah, we we, we All right, ran coach. It. So uh, here we have some uh, some video to go through now. So uh, you want to just get into the first play here? Or? Yeah, let's go. Let's go roll. All right, let's here we go. Already right. talk uh, talk about the art concept. So here you go, coach. All right, so we have a 13 formation. All right, our fullback is lying on the strong side. All right, we'll have an inside zone play with art. So to art, that's how we would call that play. So the fullback will release and get to the sandbacker. So you see right from that angle, we can see the depth, right? So that, that DN, usually most of the time when we run kind of a, a power scheme or, or, or zone play and stuff, so that DN is used to get blocked by, by that fullback or that tackle. Now he's kind of loose, all right? He's, he's, nobody's blocking him. So, that, I mean, that kid just got went up field way too, way too much. But, and that gave us that... Uh, that, that nice cutback line. Yes, the soundbacker made the, the, the tackle. Um, it's, it, it's a tough one for the, for the age back because we ask him to reach and the quarterback keeps, all right? But it's still a six-yard gain, all right? I wonder, Coach, you know, uh, talking about your quarterback and what he's reading, um, adding this arc concept, does it make it, his read a little more difficult versus when you're just leaving the end totally alone, or is that not the case? It's uh, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit different because the DN obviously I mean don't react the same uh, the, the the same way, but it's still you know it, it's still the still the same read still the same read. So if we if we look like the age back, I don't like the way he went there. Obviously, like he hop and everything. Okay, I would like would like to to get him more like more and that doesn't need to up. Just go directly to the and you don't need to. Uh, like he aimed for the outside shoulder from from the mid mid section to the outside shoulder, he went a bit too uh, too uh, too wide. Uh, that kid, that was his first game ever playing fullback. By the way, he was a linebacker, and we moved over to the fullback position for for that game. So, uh, so just it shows that it's uh, it's doable. <laughs> it's doable. You can learn that position. All right. All right. So uh, they're sending pressure. Okay, we 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 were able to build that. That wall up front, okay. Everybody's, uh, it's we're running inside zone to the right right now. Everything, everybody's picked up. All right, we bring our tailback on touch line of scrimmage. Fifty four goes up, feel a bit too much. The tailback, we're aiming point for inside zone for us. And we're 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 pressing the, the play side leg of the center, so we we keep it uh, pretty tight. All right, and he's able to press and then uh, a little bit on the, the that hole over there, and it's it's a six yard gain. Great. Let's go watch Good it. stuff. Next Move play. on to the next play, coach. Yep. So same same type of play. So inside zone. All right. We're in a, in a deuce formation. Do strong. All right. Running to, to arc again. Same uh, same little hop. All right, that Brian is doing there. All right. So um, Brian's going to uh, Western University next uh, next season. Um, so tailback there. Quarterback decided to uh, to give. Okay, same same reaction by the DN. The DN, right, went went up field a little bit. All right, when the when when our fullback left, so that gives a good and easy read for the quarterback to give the ball to the tailback. Right, we're sending pressure. All right, we're able to pick up the like the initial uh, pressure, but like we have a hat on a hat, we bring our tailback uh, on touch line of scrimmage, and then it's just a matter of pressing uh, pressing the hole. All right, from the tight view. Uh, the mesh, okay, we, we like our tailback on our inside zone just to be a bit like we want his inside foot to be behind the, the outside foot of the guard, all right? And we don't, I don't like the, the office that he's taking right now, all right? <clears throat> so, and same thing, you should have, just press. You don't need to up and change directions. Just press, 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 one, one movement, one cut. You can really see, Coach, how much that defensive end with that arc, arc motion, just sort of the arc uh, release sort of freezes him at times, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's that, that's what we want to do. It's uh, we, we ran a lot of, uh, of, of zone where we had our fullback right away, like away from this, the point of attack. So where the Brian was responsible to block the, the, that DN and then when we ran power and stuff like that. So, so having him just release arc release and not touching him, that kind of put that DN in a, in a binder. We ran, we, we match arc most of the time with inside zone. Um, but we, we tried it as well sometimes, like in practice with outside zone, just to create a lot more flow in one direction and to put that DN, again, preventing that DN to come back maybe in and be able to play both, all right? Um, 
it did uh it worked a little bit yeah uh, that's interesting i was going to say that uh, yeah i'd love to see that film on that uh, that's an interesting concept there it worked it worked okay uh, i'll be honest like up front we were big and we we're good at inside zone and power and gap scheme outside zone we were that 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 you know as as much productive so that's why we just focus on on doing arc with inside zone but i mean that could be done obviously with with outside zone that we can go to the next concept the next concept we we paired it with uh, with a dual concept all right we call it six 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 and six and seven those are those are dual for us all right it's a gap scheme all right usually on on that gap scheme we ask our fullback all right to block down that that defensive end and our and our slot back goes goes around and lead and block the, that sand backer all right now what we did is we 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 just did arc out out of it all right so we we didn't block the dn that usually get blocked by the fullback and he went to the second level defender and the slot back went around for for whoever was tracking him all right so the quarterback it's the same reads reading the dn Nice. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, wall good. outside on that pull. Yep. It's pretty athletic play though by by that 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 the end that was able to, you know, he, he gave a bit too much ground, but still was able to uh, to play ball. All right. But for us, I mean, it was still a six yard game. We're gonna yeah, switch from the tight. Uh, yeah, from the tight. So we do that play. For, we did that play from a from a pistol uh, a pistol alignment. Again, we don't touch the DN. Usually, Brian on, on, on power, the age back is blocking that DN. All right. Again, his alignment there should be a bit like he's a bit too much inside, should be behind the outside leg of the tackle. Get outside, block the second level defender, and then 87 coming across. Well, this is just blocking whoever is following him. So, number wise, we should be okay on the, on the offensive side. All right. And by up front, we're running a, a gap scheme, all right? So for the tailback, if we give the ball to the tailback, it's really that A, a gap, B gap. This is, he's running straight up, up field, A gap or B gap, all right? That's, that's his read. And on power, usually he's going to go A, B, C, D, all right? But now the quarterback has the option to, uh, to keep. So it's really if, the quarter, if, the, if 25 gets the ball, if Suleiman gets the ball, it's A gap or B gap, all right? The quarterback decide to keep it because that DN, all right, basketball shuffle a little bit inside. Lucas kept it, and now he, he becomes the, the D gap threat. So that was uh, like kind of a wrinkle that we put for that for that playoff game. Um, and was and for for the quarterback. I mean, we were, were already meshing from pistol before, so it's it's nothing new for him. The tailback's nothing new. Um, the arc tag was something we had in our playbook anyway so for the fullback it's nothing new so it was not a huge install for us and it was a good uh, good win you can really see your slot back tracking his eyes tracking that tracker uh just uh, really ready to get on him i can see it right there yeah great great point coach yeah 